guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here where is the seed what is the seed in this video i am going to be trying to do a plum rod set for the first time um that my eyebrows is always be out of place boy <clears throat> So yeah, I am going to be trying to do um, plum rounds. <laughs> Why can't I say this properly? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Um, I purchased some plum rods and Pennywise, and you know, I'm gonna see if I could do it in my natural hair, right? Um, so right now my hair is already washed, conditioned, but I haven't put leave-in and well my moisturizer in my hair as yet so I will do that first before I actually get into the process of placing plume rods in my hair so that's all you will have to know guys I might be struggling I might be struggling because this is my first time I never actually put plume rods in my hair before so, but I have an idea how it works, so let's just hope things go as planned. Without further ado guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell because it really helps my channel to grow and also share with your friend, you know, share it with your friends, your family, whoever. And without further ado guys. Let's just get into the video. Into the video. I'm just gonna get into it, right? Obviously, this is gonna take a real long time because I have so much up here on my head. It is a shame. So, but this side already dropped because I have the fan right there. So, but yeah, let me just get into the video. welcome back welcome back welcome back so like i said i'm starting off with putting in leave-in conditioner in my hair um mainly because my hair was dry i just shampooed conditioned my hair so you know i'm putting in my leave-in i'm using my spray bottle first because i honestly actually had the fan right next to me so i really had to rejuvenate my hair with some water first before I put in the leave-in so now I am as you can see putting in that leave-in conditioner and I'm focusing on the roots of my hair um, well actually on top of my hair <laughs> I'm focusing on top of my hair and at the ends of my hair and I'm just raking that product into my hair strands so yeah also I separated my hair in two I don't want it to go in smaller sections because that would have been a very long process as well I'm um, doing this plum rod set was a very long process in general right so I honestly and truly didn't want it to waste any more time because guys we're in school right now time is of the essence right this this can't work time cannot be wasted right so i did everything in my power to try and reduce the amount of time that i took placing these plum rods in my hair and also trying to moisturize my hair so you know i just parted my hair in two and focused on top of my hair and on the ends of my hair mainly at the ends because my hands my ends is going through it guys is going through it so what I am doing now is part of my hair so that I could um, section it off. So I'm going to be sectioning my hair into four parts, right? Um, oh mind you guys, I can't remember if I already said this, but if you all want to, if you all don't want to see the entire video, you all don't have to. I will place like the timelines at the, in the description box, so you all would know like where y'all want to see which section of the video y'all want to look at you know and all that good stuff um 
for me I just wanted to document the entire process because it was my first time so you know anyone that wants to see this right they would know like what to do or what not to do you know mistakes that I made they would view the mistakes and see that you know this didn't work out or that worked out you know so that was just my intentions but for the for the persons that don't want to see the entire entire process the entire process right you could you could skip through i don't mind you could skip through you could see little snips there and here and there you know it's not a problem for me so what i'm doing now is just flatten my hair into four sections and I'm just doing my thing. When I finish to that, I would be placing the perm rods into my hair. So, I'm just gonna leave you all now to just chill, sit back, rock back, you know, vibe to a little music and thing. And yeah. Also, guys, I also placed my hair into four sections because I had a set number of perm rods to do. I kind of calculated in my mind what I wanted to do. I will further explain that whole process, but that was the main reason why I parted my hair into four sections because in my mind, you know, I wanted to at least have a certain amount so I wouldn't exceed the limit. Um, of perm rods that I have because in my mind I thought I had like a little bit of perm rods so I just wanted to make sure that I don't go overboard or I don't go like you know under the amount that I have so yeah it was just calculated <laughs> Hi guys, so I've sectioned my hair into four parts. Right now, the idea that I have in my head is to have like 40, at least for the most, 40 perm rods in my hair if it could fit in each section, right? So that would mean I'll have to have 10 perm rods in each section so that I'll be able to successfully have 40 perm rods in my hair, right? So what I will do is do the back section off camera 
and then I'll come in, come back on camera to do the front section so y'all can see exactly what I was doing so yeah hi guys so I'm back with the pomerads at the back of my hair um, so I'm going to show you all what I did at the front with at least two so you all would know like what was the process I did so firstly I section off a small piece right I put the rest of my hair to the side I took my spray bottle right I took my spray bottle and I sprayed my hair a little bit with water and then I took my cream of nature and I placed my cream of nature on my hair and then I twisted my hair and then I used my perm rods to roll the rest of my hair up right um hopefully this explanation is simple enough right um I saw a youtuber do this um, I can't remember her name but I think I will place the name of her YouTube channel on the screen so y'all would see you know where I got the video from so yeah so she did like the twist method where you twist the from the roots to halfway of your hair and then like the rest of your hair you put the perm rods in your hair if that was <laughs> a good explanation so that's basically what I did in the back and I'm doing the same process in the front right so you saw me place the cream of nature on my hair then you see me twisting my hair and then to a certain point I will stop brush detangle my detangle the ends of my hair and then I will take a perm rod and then I'll roll my hair up make sure I tuck in the ends of my hair and then I'll roll my hair up while like twisting it so I did like a twisting process while I was rolling the perm rods in my hair and that's basically what I did throughout the front section of my hair So people, you're watching my video, you know, you know all you could do in the process? I find all you could hit that subscribe button, you know, you all could hit that subscribe button. I mean, if all you're seeing this and all you're liking all you're seeing, why not hit the subscribe button, you know? So I just had to, I just had to come in and remind all you about that, that whole little process now subscribing subscribing to my channel yeah <laughs> So guys, this is me looking like a whole auntie, auntie 101, auntie Deandra, where is you seeing all you, how are you going, how are you feeling? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I have the perm rods in my hair, and the reason why I decided to use a blow dryer is because my hair was still wet, especially the ones that have the small perm rods, and that was my first mistake, um, for using the small perm rods because basically what had happened was because this because the perm rods is like very small I would have to like place layers of my hair on top of each other if that makes sense right so basically when I'm wrapping my hair around the perm rod instead of my hair going around the perm rod my hair is going on top of my hair so every time I wrap I wrap more hair on top of my hair instead of going around the perm rod and that's basically my fault right if I had more um, bigger and longer perm rods I'll be able to wrap around the perm rod as opposed to wrapping on top of my hair so yeah 
but I did use the blow dryer. It helped just a little bit, right, with drying my hair. So, yeah, I blow dried my hair for a little 10 minutes. And then I'm going to come on camera next time you see me with my whole outfit, makeup, and everything. So, yeah. Hey guys, so I am back with the comb rods in my hair. So yeah, I look a little crazy right now. I'm sweating a little bit because things are getting hot. So yeah. Um. So yeah, I just want to take out these comb rods, see how everything is looking before you know the sunlight go away, and you know I won't be able to take out keep it as if the sunlight go away. So I'm gonna take out these comb rods. Hopefully they come out good. I blow dry them previously, so we just had to see. We just had to see how things come out. So, alright, guys, you're still looking like anti 101, but that is that is nothing. That is nothing. All you know is you seen already. All you know when all you see this, all you know that is it. That is it. That is it. Right. So. This part of the video now, I am going to take all the perm rods, see how everything looking. This is the reveal, like the reveal, the fluffing, the picking, the unraveling, the separating, you know. Uh, right there, I, see, I, I look a little shocked because I was like, okay, alright, let me see how this thing looking. So, you know, I sped up the video a little bit because... Ain't nobody have no time to see me unravel my hair for 21 minutes. Ain't nobody have no time. So this video is this part of the video is sped up and yeah. So you're seeing this whole thing looking like a whole twist out. Like <laughs> I was like, what? This looking like a whole twist out, guys. So you know, but I just gonna let all you see how everything come together, you know, how how I felt y'all gonna see my honest and true reaction. Right? It felt like I've never seen my hair before, you know? So y'all just gonna see my honest and true reaction doing this for the very first time. So yeah. Oh, and big up all yourself if all you if all you stay watching the video up to this point. Big up all yourself. Big up all yourself. That is all I have to say. <laughs> Okay, 
so it's hard looking it looked like a fluffy twist out to be honest like a really fluffy twist out one try for it so I ain't know if I should separate some more like it done already so big just a little bit you know what I should do I'll be right back right back so honeys right I'm back I'm back with my big tea comb I'm just fluffing out my hair cuz you know in my mind I kind of saw myself with the afro aesthetic look you know that that type of natural hair aesthetic look that you know you see on Instagram I try to achieve that I try to I think I did pretty good but the look wasn't there just yet you know but I'll practice that I'll practice that I usually do not wear afros in my hair guys because here too hot for that it's too hot for that so but that's what I did <laughs> So this is how it looks. Um, how do I feel about this? I like it. This looks real cute though. This looks real cute. This looks real cute. Even though like it wasn't dried up like properly and a little fuzzy but it looked good that way it looked good that way huh. so i guess my first time wasn't all that bad i guess the fluffy look is really cute good Wow, okay, this, this is, this is, this is a whole mood though, like, whoa. I like to tell homegirl feel it yourself, homegirl feel it yourself, oh my goodness. I would never imagine this sort of, whoa, I would never imagine, like, yeah guys, I know it's looking a little crazy. My eyebrows wasn't done, so please don't come for me for my makeup. <laughs> but yeah, this oh my gosh. I uh-uh. Wow. Guys, this is this is so crazy. I would never suspect that it would have come out like this. Like it came out like a twist out because usually that's how my twist outs would come out. Um, it's it kind of hard to explain but I can show you all like a small clip of one of my um, like my second video I've ever posted on YouTube. I did like a um, like my curly afro twist out type of video right i would leave the link of the video in the description box as well but it kind of resembles this but just way better so my god 
goodness. So guys, I do hope that you enjoy the video. Um, this was my first time doing plum rods in my hair and I honestly and truly really love it. I really love it. It came out really nice. I didn't know my afro would have looked like this. Like this is crazy. This is so crazy. Alright. So guys, I really do hope that you all enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you all have ever done plum rods in your hair, on your natural hair that is, whether it be relaxed, um, natural or you're transitioning. Let me know in the comment section how do you all um, apply plum rods in your hair. Um, also, let me know what other videos you all want to see concerning my hair if you know you're all interested in that type of content. And yeah, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell because it really helps my channel to grow. And also, it will help me to know what type of content you all want to see from me. And also, don't forget to share with your friends and family. So, that's it guys. Hope you all enjoy. Keep safe. And uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I, Deandra Ferguson, upload another video.